Hey everybody. Well, we are back and we are back on the road. Got a lot of news, a lot of stuff to catch you up on, but now's not the time we're gonna do it. I just wanted to give you a quickie. Uh, there's the, the new truck. Um, like I said, a lot of news to catch you up on, but uh, I'm just stopping in here real quick at the pilot in uh, Villa Rica, Georgia. We've already picked up our load and are heading west to, to Mississippi. Um, I'll give you more details in a little while, but uh, just wanted to say back at it. See you soon. So we got a couple of seconds here. Uh, the truck that's in front of us is taking a sweet time getting out of the fuel lane. Uh, he's, at, he's at the pull-up line, but I can tell he's in his truck and he's just kind of just sitting there. So I don't know what his plan is. But we don't need fuel. We're not fueling up yet uh, until we get to Lincoln, Alabama. Um, we are headed to Rosedale, Mississippi from Conley, Georgia on the probably the lightest load I've ever taken. It's 168 pounds. Uh, it's a step ladder. <laughs> One step ladder. I do not understand why we're taking this load, why anybody would ship a step ladder in 53 foot band. Because uh, <laughs> we're probably, even if we're take, even if we're charging only a dollar a mile on this load, um, it's costing more to ship this ladder than the ladder is probably worth. Um, and from the sounds of it, from when I checked in to get to pick it up, it's it's OSMD, so it's damaged. So it's going back to the uh, back to the ship to the original uh, shipper or manufacturer or, or wherever um, because whoever bought it doesn't want it. But why would anybody spend? I mean, it's 450 miles. So even if we're doing it for a dollar a mile, which would be a ridiculously low rate, uh, we're probably doing it for closer to two dollars a mile. At two dollars a mile, you're spending nine hundred dollars to ship a hundred dollar ladder. Why? I don't get it. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I'll show you a picture. I'll, I'll show you a picture right here of of the load. It's yeah. Um, but <laughs> so uh, well. Um, to put a long story short back with the same company I did not uh, I, I decided against moving on or rather fate decided against me moving on um, it's been about two weeks so we've been off the road for about two weeks uh, my laptop is still in the shop as well um, if you'll recall I drowned my laptop on my last uh, on, on the day that we were supposed to come back home um, bringing that uh, broken truck home um, and I spilled my drink and drowned my laptop and so I put my laptop in the shop at the same time as the truck went in the shop. Um, neither one are fixed yet. I am not in my original truck but this truck that I'm in right now came available. Um, it was apparently in the shop and is now repaired uh, and so yeah, I've moved all of my stuff in a hurry from the old truck to this truck because they had this load waiting for me. Um, and I've got some unpacking to do. But, uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, this truck is slightly newer than the older truck, but has more miles on it. Um, good news, this truck can idle. I'm pretty sure uh, it uh, I've I let it run for a little bit uh, while I was while getting things loaded into it and everything and it never told me that it was shutting down or anything like that it was it just it just idled um, now whether it'll idle all night without me having to do something special I don't know yet but we'll find out tonight um, I am going to head west I'm not gonna go all the way I could I've got the hours to do it 
uh, but I'm not going to go all the way. I'm going to find some place, probably in Alabama, maybe in Mississippi, um, east of Memphis to shut down. I mean, it's 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 5 p.m. already, so you know, I should be looking for a place to park if I want to find some place to park. But there's probably a mom and pop somewhere along the route that I can stop in at. So I'm going to wait until we fuel up, and then I'm going to figure out where we're going to stop for the night, and then we'll. We'll probably start off a little bit later tomorrow as a result and uh, get there. We don't have to be there till 9 a.m., so we'll, we've got plenty of time to get there. Uh, but uh, I'm going to enjoy my lunch. Uh, like I said, it's 5 p.m., so I guess it's my dinner. Uh, but I haven't eaten since breakfast, and I am hungry. But uh, it feels good to be back on the road. I am looking forward to making more videos. I have not yet unpacked my my GoPro or put up any mounts or anything, so we won't get any footage from the road. Just I'm just using my camera at the moment. But uh, we will see you soon. Bye bye. It occurs to me I didn't elaborate on why it was fate that uh, brought me back to this company and why I didn't move on. Um, basically, I made the decision that I was going to wait and which whichever whichever one popped first. If my laptop was done first, um, I was going to go and maybe try and sign on to Prime um, and lease a truck from them for the remainder of the three months that I'm going to be out here, um, or longer. Uh, but uh, and, and if my laptop didn't come up first, then I would be back out here in uh, with this company. Um, and uh, the company called me for before the laptop before Apple did. Yeah, Apple's been taking over two weeks to fix my laptop. So, not thrilled with that, but uh, we are back out on the road. We are sans laptop, which means I'm still using my, I'm going to be using my old laptop or my phone to edit these videos. So I probably won't have, uh, I won't do a whole lot with them. I won't make them really fancy. But uh, once we get back to the, once, once the laptop is ready, we'll get back in town and, and get that picked up. And then we'll be back on the road. But uh, the guy in front of me finally pulled out. Uh, so I am itching to get back on the road and let's get going. See you soon. Well, we're stopped for the night. A uh, little place called uh, Rolling Tea Truck Stop and Traveling Family Cafe. And I know you can't see me. Uh, so I'll record a little bit more video when I get back to the truck. But uh, it's a nice little place. So we're at the Rolling Tea Truck Stop in Nabu, Nabu, Alabama. It's about 15 minutes west of, uh, of Jasper. Um, nice little place. Plenty of room in the truck in the in the parking lot. It's uh, eight. Well, I think it's eight o'clock local time, and there is still tons of space. Uh, it's a dirt lot, a little bit dusty, uh, but uh, like I said, plenty of room. Uh, the shop is pretty nice. The uh, it's kind of more of your old typical mom and pop type shop it's well kept there's a nice diner a good looking diner i don't know i didn't stop in to eat because i already ate um i kind of wish i hadn't now so i could test it out but oh well it is what it is but we have got some unpacking to do i've got to get all this stuff at least off my bed so i can get us so i can get a good night's sleep tonight um Basically, we moved trucks, uh, like I think I said it earlier, but essentially this truck was in the shop uh, and just came out of the shop. My truck, apparently, he had it in the shop. He had it in the dealership. He was going to get the dealer to fix it, and then they quoted him $11,000. <laughs> so he uh, is going to get somebody else to fix it, but I went ahead and took this truck and have moved all of my stuff into it. And... Uh, it, it it could have been a temporary truck. I, you know, he, he offered it to me as a temporary truck. And then when I started moving all my stuff into it, he was like, well, if you want it for, for good, I can reassign it to you. And so I said, okay. Um, it appears to be running okay. It had a couple of issues first off. Um, there was a check engine light, which cleared on its own. There were, uh, at, at the pickup where we were at, it, I got quite a few, um, warning lights came on that were talking about the stability is the stability system is not working and needs to be serviced and i had an abs light and i had a the the hill start assist was disabled and this 
the stability was was off but uh after a couple of stops you know i, I stopped first at at uh in villa rica and uh it stayed on after that but when i stopped for fuel in lincoln it 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 had cleared up by that point so we're good to go truck i believe idles um i have yet to test that out we're just idling it all night we'll try that tonight um uh, but uh i feel good unfortunately this was there was a smoker in this truck previously he's not a heavy smoker because um uh, most of the smell is already cleared up or i've gotten used to it one of the two um uh, but uh I, I'm, my previous truck had the same issue, so I can't complain too loudly. Um, I know one of the dispatchers occasionally drives, does local runs, and uh, he's a smoker, so it may be that it's just him smoking in the truck that caused it to stink a little bit, or it may have been the previous driver. I don't know. I, it, it doesn't feel like it may. It, it doesn't feel like it's just everywhere, uh, but it definitely smelled when I first got in. So I'm gonna start unpacking, and then I will see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, so we're back. I've got the GoPro set up again, so uh, we've got that much going for us. I was able to get the sleeper more or less configured last night. Um, we're running a little bit late getting out of here, about a half an hour late. Uh, I haven't really uh, set up the GPS yet to give us a good ETA. But we're about four and a half hours, five tops from our destination. It's six o'clock, um, so call that 9.30, 9.45, give or take, uh, to, our, to our destination. I have already finished my pre-trip. I'm just kind of creeping over to the fuel island so I can go inside and get some supplies for the morning. Uh, had a good rest. Uh, this truck idles, no problem. Didn't even give me so much as a peep as far as uh, needing to be restarted, needing to be shut down, whatever. Um, didn't even have to do a regen, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, so we uh, are making good time. It, we are off to a good start. It's a little dark in here. Uh, <laughs> This parking lot is not well lit, but uh, I don't want to go all the way over there because got a couple of trucks blocking the fuel lanes. Uh, I will get inside, get my supplies, and we will hit the road. See you soon.
right, well, I didn't record us getting in here or out of here. Uh, we were actually almost two hours late. I don't know how we were so out, so damn late. Uh, but we got in and out of here real quick. I'll do a, a catch up in a little bit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, GoPro, stop recording.